Hi there, my name's Rick Smith. I'm a first year trainee educational psychologist studying at the University of Manchester, and this is just a short video to show how to calculate a child's chronological age manually. The first thing you're gonna do is write out today's date, and you're going to do that by starting with the year first, and then the month, and then the day, and then underneath that, you're going to write the child's date of birth, and again, the same format, year, month, and day. All right, so let's have a look at our first example. So we've got here uh, today's date. So we've got the year is 2020. We've got the month is the 10th, and the day is the 22nd. Then we've got the child's birthday. So this person was born in 2016 the 8th month and the 20th day. So for this first example, it's just a case of some simple column subtraction. So 22 minus 20 leaves us with 2. 10 minus 8 also leaves us with 2. And then 2020 minus 2016 leaves us with 4. So the chronological age of this person, this young person, is 4 years, 2 months and 2 days. All right, so that was a nice straightforward one. Let's look at the second example. Again, today's date, so the year 2020, the month 10th, the day 22nd. And this, this person was born in 2017 on the sixth month and on the 26th day. So not quite as straightforward as the first one. This time our column subtraction. We've got 22 days minus 26 days. So we haven't got enough days there to take away from. So what we're going to do is do some conversions. So we're going to look at our months here. So we've got 10 months and we're going to convert those 10 months and borrow a month and take it over into the days column. So there are um, 30 months in a day is what we're going to use for all of these uh, conversions. At the most, um, you'll only ever be one day out with these calculations if you use 30. So we're going to move 30 days over, which means we've now got nine months left and we've got 30 days over here. So now instead of 22 days, we've got a total of 52. Okay, now it's a case of some column subtraction again. So 52 minus 26 leaves us with 26 days. Nine months minus six months is three months. And then 2020 take away 2017 leaves us with three. So this child's chronological age is three years, three months, and 26 days. All right, so let's look at our third example. So let's look at the days first. So we have 22 days, and we need to take away 12 of those days, which leaves us with 10. In the months column, we've got 10 months, and we need to take away 12 months, which we obviously can't do. So what we're going to do this time is do another conversion, but instead of converting days to months, as we did earlier, we're going to convert... Um, Sorry, instead of converting month to days, we're going to convert years to months. So we're going to convert one of those years, take a year away from there, and convert it into months. So there are obviously 12 months in a year. So now we have a total of 22 months. And 22 months minus uh, the 12 months is going to leave us with 10 months. And then simple column subtraction again, with the years of 2019 take away 2019, leaves us with no years. So this child's birthday, uh, sorry, this child's chronological age is 10 months and 10 days. So in this final example, we're going to look at what happens when we need to convert both months into days and also years into months. So. 22 days minus 24, we can't do. So we're going to borrow a month, or convert a month rather. So convert one of the months into 30 days. So now we have 52 days minus 24, which leaves us with 28. Nine months minus the 11, we can't do that. So we're going to convert a year. So we've got, remember, 12 months in a year. So now the 12 and the nine, running out a little bit of space there, but just squeeze this in, so 21 months minus the 11, which leaves us with 10 months. And then for the final column, 2019 minus 1,998. So if you can't do that in your head, you can just turn 
uh, the final column into a simple column subtraction like you would do um, as standard. So 9 minus the 8 leaves us with 1. 1 minus the 9 isn't possible, so we're going to have to do some conversions. The next column isn't anything available, so we'll convert this column here, move that across, convert again, move that across. So now 11 minus the 9 is 2. 9 minus 9 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0, so that gives us a chronological age of 21 years, 10 months and 28 days. Alright, I hope you found that useful and thank you very much for watching.